Hi, welcome back to our series on matrix. Today we shall learn about an important theorem on square matrix. If you are given a square matrix A with real values, what's a square matrix? Square matrix is a matrix which has same number of rows and columns, right? Equal number of rows and columns. So if we are given a square matrix A, then the theorem states that A plus A transpose would be symmetric and A minus A transpose would be skew symmetric. Before we prove this, let's recap what a symmetric matrix is. Let's take an example. Say A is equal to, this is a square matrix of order 3 by 3. Let's take a look at it, the diagonal, the diagonal element and the elements across the diamond diagonal is symmetric. See? 2 and 2, 1 and 1, 1 and 1. So a symmetric matrix will have a i j b equal to a j i, where i is the row number, j is the column number, here I is, j is a row number and i is a column number. So this is what a symmetric matrix is. Now a skew symmetric matrix will look like this. A skew symmetric matrix will always have zeros on the diagonal and they will have the negative of the element on the other side, right? It will be a mirror image but with a negative sign. So this is what a skew symmetric matrix looks like. So what this theorem states is given a matrix A of a, any n cross n order which is a square matrix, you will always get a plus a dash would be symmetric and a minus a dash is q-symmetric. Let's try and prove this. So since in a symmetric matrix a i j is equal to a j i then a would be equal to a dash because when we do a transpose we only flip the non-diagonal elements flip the position of the non-diagonal elements. Because the non-diagonal elements are equal in a symmetric matrix, A would be equal to A dash. Now let's see if we can prove this, right? So suppose say A plus A dash is B and A plus A dash gives you a matrix B, we should, since A is a matrix, A dash is a matrix, adding two matrices will give one matrix B, right? Now let's see what is B dash. B dash would be, if you remember the properties of transpose, A plus A dash whole dash, which actually will be equal to A dash plus A dash of whole dash. Since A dash of whole dash is equal to A, this becomes A dash plus A, which is nothing but B. So what it means is B dash is equal to B, which means A plus A dash will give a matrix B for which B dash, that is B transpose, is same as the original matrix, which means A plus A dash is symmetric. Now for a skew symmetric matrix, B is equal to A minus A dash, right? Now for a skew symmetric matrix, if a matrix is skew symmetric, then B dash will be equal to minus of B, negative of B. How? Because when we flip, it is actually equal to, it translates into minus 1 multiplied by B. If we can prove this, then we know a minus A dash is a skew symmetric matrix. Let's see if it is true. Now we have B is equal to A minus A dash. So hence B dash would be A minus A transpose whole transpose because B transpose. B is equal to A minus A transpose. So B transpose is A minus A transpose whole transpose. Now expanding using the properties we have it is A transposed minus 
heat transposed mole transposed which is nothing but a transpose minus a this again comes from the properties of transpose what is this this is nothing but minus of b hence a minus a dash will be a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix means the diagonal elements will be zero because for a and a dash the diagonal elements are going to be same when you subtract them they become zero and the elements across both the diagonals will be symmetric but they will have negative on one side negative of the other side one side will be the negative of the other side that is the proof of the theorem thanks for watching math smart subscribe to math smart to know when we post a new video